Hey guys, I'm back. So, I'm gonna be reading more of this. Okay, so here we go. If getting pregnant is important to you, you need to put your foot down with Frank. You're right, I'm going to do it tonight. I wish you the best of luck, Eliza. Thanks, doctor. I can do this. Oh, I received a hairline aid. It. <laughs> Anyways, so I went to the doctor today. Oh, yeah? For what? I had a couple of tests done. No, it was a fertility test. Told you not to do that, but I wanted to be sure. Oh, so now you're making our joint decisions without me? That's it, Eliza. I don't want you going back to your doctor. You're not to have any more testing. It's time to get your test done. Newsflash, my life, my choice. Oh, I just got these cords back then. No! I'm sorry. I'm too poor. I'll just drop this for now. Yeah, for now. We'll beat the life out of him. Is that a new cologne? It smells nice, different than usual. It's the same one I always use. Jeez, I was just trying to give you a compliment. I walked into Shandy yelling at Derek again this morning. What else is new? They argue all the time. She was really laying into him, though. Yeah, because Derek is a loser. He's not really... Oh, you always hit him with something that hurts. <sighs> Roll your eyes again. I mean, roll them more, you'll be able to see the receiving hairline on top of your head. <laughs> Anyways, he's interviewing for a new job right now. It's like Shandy doesn't even see how hard he's trying. He has a, rec a record, you know. Maybe he doesn't deserve to be hired anywhere. From over a decade ago? People can change, you know. So, so you say. I don't see why Shandy puts up with him. She's super hot. Seems smart enough. Did you just call Shandy hot? What? Did you really think you're the only girl I find hot? I'm your wife. I was just making an observation. I need to get all sensitive. Too bad he doesn't care about my feelings about becoming a mother. You've got the rest of the dishes, right? I'm gonna go lie down and watch some TV. You know, take that deep breath. How could he keep blowing off this testing. I just don't understand. Let me be positive and hope that this is the month that it all works out. Waiting for this pregnancy test feels like an eternity. It's ready. Take that deep breath. Remember to be okay with me. Stay positive. This can't be happening to me. Aww. I tried to grab anything and everything in my medicine cabinet and throw it all over my bathroom. I lost all control. My heart was broken. Even through my deepest pain, a little voice said to me, You will get through. And yes, I would, but that didn't mean I didn't need some help. Let me tell you something. You, When you've been trying as long as I have, uh, you hope for the best and plan for the worst. You stock up on cherries and whipped cream. You buy your favorite ice cream because you're going to need a sundae. What the frick? Frank ate all my ice cream. I'll not be denied this one simple pleasure. So I was going to the grocery store. D Derek? What are you doing here? I'm crying and yelling through the walls. Is everything okay? Not really. What's going on? Well, let's see. I got some bad news. And my husband's not here. And to make matters worse, he ate all my ice cream. All I want is a freaking sundae. So now I'm going to the store in my pajamas. And no one can stop me. You're kidding. I've got the ice cream. I was just going to the store for a whipped cream and cherries. Seriously? You saw the fight Shandy and I were having earlier. If I can call for that. I mean, what's the word for me getting screamed at and her telling me I would never amount to anything? 
Oh, sorry, notification. I'm not sure. I'm more familiar with the word for me wondering why my husband doesn't care about anything I care about. Ah, uh, yes, that one. So I take it Shandy's not home either. She went out. Who knows where? I don't even ask anymore. Well, you know, between the two of us, we've got Sundays. We could just skip the grocery store and combine pity parties. Is it still a pity party if there are Sundays? I think that's just a straight party. You're totally right. They're doing fireworks over the harbor in 10 minutes. If we go up to roof, I bet we could catch them. I'll grab bowls, spoons, sprinkles, melted chocolate sauce, and reclinable lawn chairs. Ambitious. Let's turn this night around. Will you meet me up there, bud? Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry, Derek. You're on your own. Thanks for coming by, but I'd actually rather stay home tonight. Of course, I'm always just a doorway if you need anything. And Derek hugged me, but a fly shot around my stomach. This wasn't just a friendly embrace. There was something between us, tense, palpable. I, learned into, I leaned into the way of him and let him hold me. What's going on here? What are you doing with this guy? Uh, it's a hug, man. <gasps> Ooh. All right, I'm going to do one more. Why are you with this guy? He was checking on me because you weren't here. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. We were just talking. What could you two need to talk about? She was having a rough night. Derek came over when he heard things being smashed in here. Smashed. Looks fine in here to me. It doesn't look so fine in the bathroom. Derek, get the hell out of my house. I need to talk to my wife. Hey, man. I'm going. You didn't have to talk to him like that. I don't like you spending time with him. <clears throat> so now you decide who I can spend time with? Great, thanks for your input. Do I look like I care? Oh, so now you decide who I can spend time with? No, it was nice having someone to talk to for once. Because my pregnancy test, my pregnancy test was negative again. You need to tell me that you destroyed your bathroom because you're not pregnant? Uh, Unfreaking believable. I was really upset. Upset? How's that an excuse? I just don't understand why I haven't been getting pregnant. Each negative test is more and more painful. If you would only get tested so we could figure out why. I'm sick of you badgering me about this over and over. It's just been so hard recently. I feel like we're not connecting anymore. And we've been fighting a lot. I know your car's in the shop right now. What if I give you a ride to work tomorrow morning so we can have some time alone together? Frank, are you asking me on a date? I'm just kidding. I'd really like that. We're too pretty for him. Oh, shoot. I forgot to press the button. I lost all control yesterday, guys. My petty test was unfortunately negative. But today is a new day, and I'm not going to let it bring me down. I'm going to move forward and keep hoping for the best. Keep sending me your positive stories. They give me hope. Signed, Miss Fighting Infertility. Frank, are you ready to leave soon? We're going to be late. Frank? Oh my god, he completely forgot again. Does he even care about me at all? Uh-oh, what's the latest? You guys will never believe this one. Give it to us. We're already... Frank forgot he offered me a ride to work this morning and left with that money. That's scum. He can't keep treating you like this, Eliza. It's not right. Seriously, you deserve so much better. You deserve a little Prince Charming. We'll see. As my Prince Charming took our, our only chair yet, I guess I'll be taking the bus. Which means I won't have time to stop for coffee. Who is that? His voice is sexy. <coughs> I gotta call you guys back. What's going on? Just debating the trade and value of my husband. He was supposed to drive me to work this morning and completely forgot about me. Ouch. Please don't say what's 
his idea? Of course it was. Well, I'm really sorry. Well, my chariot might not be the fanciest, but I would be your prince charming for the day. If, um, you're still looking for one. Oh, that's cute. Really? And we could stop for coffee, too. Oh my god, you silly, seriously don't mind? Do I mind? It'd be fun. Plus, you're doing me a favor, too. I'm on my way to my interview, but I'm so nervous if I don't do something to take my mind off 